Not the near Glen. It's a nut off your... Uh... Sun's coming up, it's starting to warm up. And look at that beautiful Lake Oahe walleye. How long is that one, Glenn? Uh, I think that was about 17 and a half. 17 and a half, let's check it out. Spiker, thanks for watching. Follow instructions fairly well, <laughs> folks. I mean, not all the time. I'm like, trying to outguess the famous Glenn Vinton, but this is this is a rare treat for Tracy and I to be out with Glenn. Although during practice, we did help uh, Steve Miller and Mike Sierra. We 
went out with them and uh, shared our spots. And that worked out pretty good. It helped the boys out. Yeah, they finished better than we did. <laughs> <laughs> they did. <laughs> oh, well, that's fishing. That's okay. Yeah, let's see if we can catch another one here. Talk it up, Gary. Well, folks, we got a, another Lake Oahe walleye, and this might be the biggest one I've had out here. I don't know if it's a Hogosaurus or not, but I feel some good weight. We'll get Glenn over here in a minute, get this planer board off. For those of you that don't know anything about planer boards, what they do is basically take your line away from the boat. This happens to be offshore which is one of Glenn Bitten's uh, sponsors. If this turns out to be a little 16 inch -er, I'll be fooled. You said a date with a Greek or a date with the Greece, hey? Did you say a date with the Greek? I think so. Okay. I like that technique. Get them out. Ow. Hold him up for the camera. About 15, just under 16. Is he going? Yep. Put him okay. in the box. Okay. Loads up, you know, they don't just go like this, the ride just loads up like that. And you fly yeah. Well, we're trying to catch a walleye here on planer boards and flicker sheds at Lake Oahe. We'll see what we got sliding here. So we can save the bait. That's, that's another thing.
So that, uh, that fish, folks, came at uh, with 50 feet of line out, and the reason that's less line out on this outside board is because Glenn is pulling these baits right along a tree line. And what we're attempting to do is to get these walleyes. There we go. Hey! Let's see if we got, got one. I think it looks like it's going to be an eater, folks. 16 going in the box. So what's happening out here is that there's so many trees on this flat, we know that it's holding the walleye. Walleyes in wood. I think there was actually a book written, Walleyes in Wood. Uh, I think Greg, uh, Greg Bone, B-O-H-N, wrote the book. Anyway, what we've been trying to do is in the first part of the day is to get these walleyes that are moving out of the trees. We think they're moving out of the trees, Glenn. Uh, you think they're feeding early? Yes. Okay. Yep. And so we've got our baits at four different depths, 50, uh, what you got your inside one at? 72. 72. Uh, I've got uh, 70 and 90. So what we're trying to do is to cover the water column and see which depth is most productive. So we appreciate... Uh, you, you, I think you finally caught a keeper. No, oh, you have two keeper fish, don't you? Um, yeah. One okay. at home and a freezer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good day. Maybe it's a 20 pound coma. Uh, or just a little fall venture that wanted to come in and see the famous Glen Met. Who knows? Yeah. Not on either one of those. 15. That's the first one of those I've caught with you. Or with, you know, this, maybe, is this a sign of things to come up with that? Escanaba? No, this was at, I just moved this to, uh, to 80 feet. And uh, we'll see if it's a, a keeper. Yeah, folks, uh, if you're coming over to Lake Oahe, you're going to want to stop at your local sport shop and pick up some of these flicker shads. Uh, you might want to get the net, net Glenn. A little better fish. Not as big as the last one, but it's going to be going, going, to be going home to Winona, Minnesota for yes, the sir. fish fry. Right there, folks. Berkeley flicker shad. This happens to be what they call the trout pattern, trout color. Might be a little better fish, folks. Uh, we're going to try to get this one in the box so that Glenn's got some food to take home, feed the family. Got about uh, 45 feet out, Glenn. One of the things that a co angler can do to help the pro is to call out the amount of line that's out there 30. Okay. And then that way the uh, pro has a better idea of when to get. This has got a little more weight to it, Glenn. Ten. Oh. 
There we go, folks. That's what we're looking for. Whee! Oh, that's a better fish. Jump right out of the net. Yeah, he jumped right out of the net. Nice job, Gary. Thank you, Glenn. Every day you get to fish with a pro like Glenn Benton, I can tell you that. <laughs> My dear. Look at that, folks. 19 and a half. Right at, oh, what a nice fish. 19. Turn around so we can see it. 19 incher in the box. In the box. You been get, getting video of the, my posterior, too? Absolutely. Oh, okay, you get all the good parts. Here. Yes. This is a Gary Spiker reporting up at Lake Oahe out in the boat with Glenn Venton and Tracy Hayward. And we're out here long line trolling for these Lake Oahe walleyes. I think I've got one on the end of the line. We're going to find out in just a minute. But we came out to do a little fun fishing and help Glenn get some fish to take home. So uh, we're, we've got about, uh, oh, a couple, three hours we're going to do this just for fun. So there we go. There you see that fish, folks. See that bait? There you go. You got all the tips you need here on catching these Lake Oahe walleyes. Thanks for watching. I beat you. I beat you. Look at mine. Yeah, but mine was a tree. Yours was a tree again. Okay, Glenn Venton keeps catching trees out here, he says.